Welcome everybody, this is Tricobo here on the official Tricobo YouTube channel or maybe on Trike Asylum if you're looking at that. And uh, so what we're going to do now is we're going to look at a website of a recumbent tricycle manufacturer. And we're going to look at uh, more than one manufacturer over the course of a few presentations here. So let's see what these recumbent trike manufacturers have to offer us in 2019. See what's new and uh, just kind of poke around on their websites. Should be fun. All right, let's get started. Okay, hello everybody. <clears throat> Trike Hobo, Steve Green with you here again. And today we're going to take a look at Performer Cycles. They make uh, this, when you come to their website, this is what you see, performercycles.com. You have an About button, Recumbent Trikes, Recumbent Bikes, Tandem Bikes, Other, they have carbon models, suspension models, and folding models. New products, dealers, contact us, and the blog. So let's see, here on their front page, <coughs> you can see that they have, this. actually this is their carbon trike. So if you're looking at a, looking for a carbon trike that uh, looks pretty advanced, um, you might want to come to this website. Has some testimonials, recumbent trikes, bikes, tandems. Any questions at all, fire us an email. So they're kind of laid back, it looks like, just like the recumbents. <laughs> okay, so let's see what's under the About tab. Freedom is there for the taking. Freedom's just another word for nothing left to lose, thinks Janice Joplin in the winter of 1971. Yes and no. And it goes on to talk about a lot of philosophical stuff on freedom and the journey is the destination and titanium and conventional, fast, light, strong. Kind of a different, uh, it's kind of a more uh, laid back, uh, atypical company here. You know, normally on the about page you'd expect to see a, a formal thing, uh, you know, written up real fancy and everything, but that, that, you know, this is just uh, right down to earth here. So let's sit, click on recumbent trikes here at the top. They have the JC20, the JC26X suspension, the JC70, and they have a carbon trike. Let's look at that carbon trike first. That was the one that was on the front page of their website. Okay, there it is. Pretty uh, interestingly designed trike. It has a look like a carbon spoke wheel in the back, and look at this frame here. Um, pretty space agey looking there. Um, cross member is uh, molded. I mean, that's one nice thing about the carbon. You can mold it, and it looks pretty uh, pretty fancy, futuristic. It's called the Cantus. Add lightweight carbon to a trike's natural aerodynamic profile. What you get? What do you get? A machine that is close to the ultimate freedom machine. You really can ride like the wind with this one. Full details. Well, let's see what they have here. Okay, let's look at the full details. And there's the uh, trike fancy looking rear end with a performer logo on the uh, wheel. It's a nice looking trike. Look at this. Cruciform there. Looks like it has a carbon crank in the front. 22 speed. Okay, they have, yeah, a couple different uh, models here. difference between these two is the uh, looks like the derailleur 
United States, $3,699 for the 105 disc and $4,299 for the Altegra disc. The Cantus Carbon Trike, new for 2018. We've been working on this one for quite some time now. Now it's here. Triking is fast and fun at any time, let alone when you get on a carbon trike. Fast and fun are off the charts. Okay. Not a lot of information on these pages. I don't see any videos. The JC-20, the day is yours. Stow your panniers on your rear rack. Settle back in the FRP cushion mesh seat. Full mesh is an option and hit the trail. This staple of the performer range will take you where you want to go and the sky's the limit. Okay, this is, a, I think this is like the basic performer trike that's been around for quite some time now. And I've heard good reviews on this from some people that have communicated with me through Trike Asylum. Choose your color. Looks like they have a nice range of uh, nice array of colors here. 27 speed at 30, 30 speed. I can get this one here, the Dior for $1,875. 30 speed, $1,700. These aren't bad prices. I think the one thing that has made the uh, performer popular is these prices, 1500 to 1800 I mean, that's affordable compared to trikes nowadays. If you look at some of the higher end trikes like Azub or, um, or Ice, uh, you know, uh, they're quite a bit more money than that. So I don't know, are you paying for a name on some of the other ones? Or maybe fancier design? Who knows? I, you know, on a trike, what you want to look for is uh, how reliable it is and how long it'll last. If it's well made, um, I don't know, it just depends what your, your priorities are. You know, I've had uh, a couple ice trikes, I've had a cat trike. You know, I've not had a performer, but I hear good things about them. This is called the JC20 Cushion Mesh or Full Mesh. Get a couple different seat options there. Looks like the Cushion Mesh has a fiberglass uh, backing to it. Okay, back to recumbent trikes up here. The JC26X Suspension. For taking the edge, okay, what's this? Okay, for taking the edge off a bumpy ride on a long day. You'll be sporting a recumbent grin no matter what. It's just that your grin will be a little wider with the extra impact dampening effect. A bit more of a cushier ride. Why not? Alright. Full details on the suspension. Okay. Looks like it has some kind of a shock absorber right in there. Get colors again. Dior, most expensive, 2065. The 37 speed is 1935, and the 27 speed is 1765. Again, you know, I mean, these are uh, these are affordable trikes, and they're nice looking. Looks like they come with a fender and a rack. And if, if that's standard equipment, that's interesting because when you get the higher end trikes. Um, like uh, ice or azub or cat trike, you, uh, you have to pay extra for the fenders and the, and the rack. I mean, a lot extra. They're not cheap on the high-end trikes. But look at this: for seventeen hundred and sixty-five dollars U.S., you get a rear rack, you get fenders, you get clipless pedals. Look what you get. You know, on the um, on the high-end trikes, you get a standard pedal. You don't get a clipless. I mean, that's what it's showing here. Micro shift front derailleur. That's what I had on my first ice trike. Aluminum 6061 rear fork is chromoly. You know, you start to look at these things, and you start wondering after a while. When you when you pay 
four or five thousand dollars for a trike and then you have to pay extra for fenders and, and rack and things like that I mean it does come down to asking yourself well why am I doing that is it because of a name reputation I mean yeah reputation and names mean a lot but how much do they mean especially if some of these other trikes are um, really good trikes and, and I've heard that these are good trikes I've seen them in person I haven't ridden them and they're pretty beefy looking frame here's a trike trike F the ultimate folding trike no need to purchase expensive bike racks fold and stow in the back seat of the trunk and you're good to go fast track your way to the trailhead. Full details. Oh, out of stock on this one right now. Sixteen hundred bucks. They don't have a big picture of this one. I like that big picture of that one we saw. I'm trying to look and see if there's not a big picture on that one either. All these websites are different, you know? Okay. They all have, okay, see now this, this page for this uh, suspension model has this uh, larger photograph for you to look at, which I, I like that. I like, that's a nice looking trike. It looks like a very comfortable seat, nice lumbar. Uh, neck rest up there, fenders included, rear rack included. I'm happy to see that. I'm happy to see that a company is giving, uh, or is giving, <laughs> is providing, selling uh, a, a trikes that are affordable and come with these accessories as standard. So uh, that's pretty much. Uh, the recumbent trikes, you got the bikes, you know, if you're into bikes, recumbent bikes, they have those low racers. I mean, look at this mini racer, Superman bar. Look at these things. I mean, it's a, uh, look at that. Wow. There's a recumbent. Kind of like a, a trike, only on a bicycle. So anyway, that kind of wraps it up here for the uh, Performer website. That gives you an idea. I mean, this company, well, wait a minute. Do we get a price on this uh, Cantus? Let's see. Yeah, $36.99, 3700 bucks. Let's see, for the Altegra, it's $42.99. And I'm looking, okay. Well, that doesn't include fenders on the, so, you know, this, their carbon is up there. You know, it's 4,300 bucks, basically, with, with uh, you know, no fenders or rack or anything like that. But, you know, most people buy these carbon trikes. They're looking for a, a racy little uh, play trike that, uh, you know, on fair weather that just goes fast with it and all that kind of stuff. They're not looking to tour or go out in the rain or anything like that. Um, be interesting to see how how this wheel, this carbon spoke wheel on the back tests out over time with people buying these things. I had a five spoke carbon wheel <clears throat> on uh, my Kite Trike 700 for a while, but I got rid of that, sold to a guy that had a, a, a bicycle. It, it, I, f I mean, for a trike, I don't know. I. For, it didn't work on that cat trike for whatever reason. It was uh, loaded with problems, and they actually stopped uh, selling them for trikes. Um, so I guess I wasn't the only one having problems with that. But I haven't heard about that on this particular trike. But the uh, I would say if you want an affordable trike, you know, without suspension, but with fenders and a rear rack. Look at this, you can get into the JC20 for 1,550 bucks. Here it tells about it. Um, so I would encourage you to look into the performer. Uh, 
when I first saw the, the, the performer, became aware of it at uh, Mark Waters uh, Backcountry Recumbent Cycles over in Bend, Oregon. Um, that's where I bought a couple of my trikes years past, and uh, he had these, and uh, it was a nice, nice trike. And that's that's been uh, that's been several years ago. So this company's been around for a while, and I think they really know what they're doing, and they. They put out good stuff from what I can tell. Okay, hope you enjoyed the little tour here. See ya.